everyone, it's Tiffany and I am here with the world's smallest Hot Wheels sets. I'm so excited. So you know the world's smallest had the individual car pack. So they came in packs like these with just one car in them, which was amazing in itself. And then I saw they came out with the actual tracks. We have a Hot Curves action set and a Stunt action set. And then this one here in the middle is a rally case. So it's a tire shaped case. So you can put all your little itty bitty world's smallest cars in them. I can't handle how cute this is right now. It's so cool. So this set right here comes with one car, five joiners, one jump, one clamp, two curve tracks, four straight tracks, and an instruction sheet. This one comes with one car, three joiners, one daredevil loop, one clamp, four straight tracks, and an instruction sheet. I'm wondering if we can attach them. I don't know. We'll have to check it out and see. I, I am so excited for this. This looks like so much fun. So let's go ahead and get these out of the pack so we can take a closer look at them. Here is the little instruction sheet that you get inside. It tells you all of the contents and then it shows you how to assemble the track, but it's basically up to you how you assemble the track and what shape and pattern or whatever. Now we do get a clamp in each pack, well in the track sets anyway, and you are supposed to do this. You're supposed to attach your track to your table so it makes it sturdy, or you can use it to kind of like um, prop your track up in the air. I haven't done that with this just simply because I kind of want to just keep it simple. Now, I, well, I did attach it on one side to the table just so it stays and plays a little bit. It's not attached right here, but it is attached on the other end. So here's just some of the other ones you can collect. Well, not the other ones because we have both of these here, but there's also a drag race set, which I'm pretty excited for. Definitely want to get that when I see it. So we do have little itty bitty cars, you guys, and they do have itty bitty wheels that work, which is so great. So these are the two cars that we got with our track sets. Amazing. There's one track set back there, and then this is the other one. I have the box here, so it's propped up so it kind of can get some momentum, if you will. So let me go ahead and try this out. This is the first time. It might not go that well because it's kind of not high up. Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh, it almost rolled off the table, so that's pretty cool. If you had this propped up on, on a table just like they say, so like this, if you clamp this end on a table, that would work too. I'm gonna show you actually on the box what they did. So this is what they did. They took, let me see if I can focus on it. They took the one end of the track and put it on the table so they could release the car and then it would go all the way around and jump off, which is so cool. That seems so much like so much fun. So I could do this. I could put it way up in the air like this. That would be interesting. So let's see how that's going to go. Hopefully I don't lose my car. Whoa, whoops, I, I lost my car. Let's see, ready? Oh, he made a little jump off the end. You guys couldn't see it though. You can see they actually rolled down really fast, which is so cool. Now let me go ahead and grab this loop-de-loop -loop track over here. And I'm gonna try my best here. I'm gonna balance it myself when uh, you know you should attach the other end to a table or something, just just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna kind of just leave it like this. Are you guys ready for this? Okay, I'm gonna let go in three, two, one. Oh, that probably wasn't enough. Let me give it some more, because we I did put a lot of track on each side, so maybe we need to put more track. I think we might need to put more track on. Let me switch this one over to this side really quickly. And they do have connectors that just simply slip on. It's not difficult at all. So let me try this again. The higher up, the better, probably. Let me put it all the way up here. It's all the way up to my lights right now. So let's see if this will work. All right, ready? Oh, it did it! Okay, so I recommend three pieces on this side, one piece on this side. Oh my gosh, I wanna do it again. Whoops. These little guys are wheelie. <laughs> They're wheelie. All right, let's try it again. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love this. And you can attach this to this track as well and just have a really good time. This, these are so cool. So let me show you this little case that we get in that other pack, the case pack. We did get a car. This is our car. We get this nice, nice little yellow one. And it says 12 car rally case by Mattel on the, on the back. And then you just kind of pop it open right here. And then it shows you how you can put your cars in here. So we can go ahead and put them in. You can put one per thing. 
I don't know why it's, I mean, I guess with some of them you can put uh, two in each. Where's the other, I lost my other car, here it is. But these bigger ones, I don't see how they would fit both, you know what I mean? So at least one car per thing and that would make six of them. Unless, can we put them in this way? No, they don't fit that way. So, I mean, these cars, I really think if we had two of the flat ones, they might be able to fit in here, but these bigger ones just simply won't work like that. Something I just noticed as this one was sitting in this case, can you guys tell this one is sparkly kind of? Oh my goodness, it's so cool. I didn't realize that till just now. But these are so cool. I love these little cars. They all do work. They all have working wheels. And then we just go ahead and close this up and we have our little case for our mini cars. This is too cute. Let me know your favorite car in the comments down below. So of these three cars, which one is your absolute favorite? I know it's difficult because they are all tiny and adorable, but I think ultimately I'm going to choose this car. Ah, it's so hard to decide, but make sure you give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I post new videos every single day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!